You dirty rat. Looks like a neighborhood on the city's northeast side has been hit with rats. The McElderly Park neighborhood called on WMAR 2 News for help. Dave Detling was quick to respond and he's out there tonight getting results. Dave. Well, just how bad is this situation? We are standing in the backyard of an abandoned property and I've counted at least one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six rat holes. Talking to one neighbor, she says the city needs to do something. Otherwise, these rats will take over. Our interview with Regina Willis started with her plea to the city. Please come out and do something because by me living next to this abandoned house, I have. Oh, there's another one behind you. Ah! No! Please! There it is. Oh. Put down that hole. I yeah. told you that they'd they be out here. Man but was interrupted by a rat. Miss Willis told us to be ready. We just didn't think we'd see the rodents in broad daylight. Part of the problem, neighbors improperly disposing of trash and putting it out way too early in the alleyways in the 500 block of North Belmont Avenue near Jefferson Street. And they'll start putting trash out on a Saturday. So it has to sit from Saturday until Thursday when they come pick it up. So the rats are literally feeding off of their trash. The other issue, abandoned properties where rats have moved in, making underground tunnels in the backyards. They are out all day, all night, doesn't matter. They have no fear, um, you know, you can walk by and they don't run away. <laughs> they're huge, they're big, and it's really scary. Kelly Rochelle says as scary as the rats are, people have become numb to the sight, but not Regina. She's made it her mission to rid her backyard of any rats even buying her own bait, even if the city won't help. The yellow balls you see is eggs, sugar, and boric acid. So I made my own poison too. I shouldn't this. have to, regardless to if it's not holes and stuff on my property that my yard is seeming it. If I ask them to come out to treat an abandoned house, they should be more than happy to come out and treat it because they're nesting here. Not only nesting, but feeding. And as we saw, the rats aren't camera shy. And you saw it, at least four rats scurrying around during broad daylight. You can only imagine what it's like during the night. This community once again asking Baltimore City for help. We're on the northeast side. Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.